so here is what I have done. Five projects failed. I decided to do coffee roasting company. We'll be like this. So whenever all of those Hey, what's up guys? Long time no see. Today is gonna be a little bit different vlog because I started to learn backend development, right? And the reason is to learning a backend is I have one idea which is mainly for web development, right? And I never had an experience for web development, either front end or back end, doesn't matter. And I like tried to ask three of my friends, can they like help me to build a back end? And all of them is busy right now with their own projects. And I have nothing left but learn backend development by my own. So let's go to nearest coffee shop and I'll tell you on my way what am I learning, like how am I learning. And probably I'll ask you guys and some kind of advice for those who are already doing that backend development. Uh, am I doing right or there is some like another learning curve that I need to take. So let's go. Alright guys, as I already told you, I was like, I, I already started learning backend using Nest.js but the thing is I never did a backend, I never did JavaScript, TypeScript thing so instead of learning TypeScript and JavaScript like starting from language, I just straight went into developing uh, of course I, I used uh, Google, ChatGPT, Gemini and all that AI that is available on the market so here is what i have done uh, i created the whole authorization flow i also connected the the open api uh, which is, which will let me to test everything in swagger or i can just use the thunder client that helps me to test my things but i prefer to use swagger so here is how it works my complete authorization methods let's log in for it and boom i have access token i have refresh token i have access token expiration date and refresh token expiration date and after that i can just get that access token and do authorization and I am authorized to do all that request that is needed all right guys so I have to change my seat because it's very loud inside and I need to a little bit speak about my project basically uh, the flow for now is to create perfectly working authorization and based on that when I start to authorize users, I need to create the flow of the loyalty cards itself. Basically, I'll show and explain about the project a little bit later. For now, I'll just start ex explaining about the code and what I don't understand and what's going on here. Basically, what's the most difficult stuff for me here is to, first of all, understand the syntax. Like, what the fuck is that? Like triple dots right and I read it in like Google that's how I do it I code everything with ChatGPT and Gemini and other AI tools generally I understand the whole code but here's a little like this one why it's using that and so on I just go into Google and Google it and I'm like oh okay okay that makes sense so the most difficult stuff is to like do the service itself right interacting with prisma i don't know if it's blinking or not to interact with prisma like creating the data itself 
putting the old info inside and so on so here is the whole gigantic code that put and gather everything into one json right which creates the loyalty card because like when i was doing tutorials uh when i was going through tutorials and the documentation of nest there wasn't any kind of uh things that says like you have to use this one and this one to accomplish these things quick pause by the way speaking of documentation i stumbled upon this awesome service called zigo cloud for my future customer service chat center or video support so what exactly is zigo cloud they are top-notch real-time audio and video cloud service provider they offer some incredible SDKs and APIs that allows us to build video call apps, audio call apps, live streaming app, and so on with very small code. No, seriously, you can get up and running within minutes. One of their standout features is their UI kits, which provides pre-built components to streamline the development process. Whether you're looking to build a video conference app or a live streaming app, Ziga Cloud has got you covered. You can check out their UI kits. Another cool thing is that when you sign up to Zigo Cloud, you get 10,000 free minutes. That's a huge bonus, especially if you're trying to get started and want to test things out without any financial commitment. For more details, please check out the description and comments below. And when I get stuck into like, hey, like why this Prisma service is not working? And I found out through the ChatGPT that I have to write another service for Prisma and like, I have to write the seed. I don't know what the what the seed is, but it helps me to populate my uh, roles that I created for user, right? And like too much thing that is not logical for me for now. I th I think I can handle it. Like I didn't know I have to create seed to manage manage the roles. Here I have like with updation and creation and to use that to populate and like update or create the roles inside depends on user. And also the cool thing is learn how to create uh, the decorators guards like that lets you to authenticate users first of all before the actually request happens. By the way guys off top why I decided to do that project because there is one, two, three, four, five projects failed that I have made with my friend alone and so on. And each project is in different field, uh, in food tech, in ad tech. A, a lot of things I have done that was failed. And after some kind of like retrospective and self-analyzing what went wrong with all my projects, I have like, I have came with idea. I don't understand any business like what is IT? IT solves the problem of certain business, right? But if you do not understand the business itself, you don't know what to solve. You don't know how to solve. And that's the key point here. So guys, with that being said, I have decided to start, like, try traditional business. I don't, I don't want to go all in and do, like, a huge, like, uh, shops and, like, something like this. But I want to start with something physical and with a long thinking with long discussion with my wife we have decided that uh, it's like easier for me to start uh, something inside the coffee business so i already tried opening a coffee shop with um, with my partners but it never worked out and i have like find out that i cannot work with partners i don't know if it's me or the if if it was the wrong partners but like the the final thing is i have to work alone for now so what i can do alone without all in like putting all my money into one basket i decided to do coffee roasting company initially i don't roast it my myself because the machinery is very expensive and the packaging and so on like it's very expensive so i'll probably find some kind of roastery that doesn't roast a lot and most of the time their machines are like staying without any work and i'll probably rent out by that time to roast my own coffee and try to sell it try to do little small steps to like build out something very big and that's why i'm doing that project because it helps me like do the b2c business and and solve my own problem that will help me to make a like a 
loyal customers. That's why I'm building that loyalty program. And as I already promised that I will explain a little bit more when I get home or on my way home. So for now, let's keep building. So as you can see, there is very bad documentation for me to test before I integrate that in my front end, right? Here, the documentation is really good with examples, with all fields. So here I have creation DTO that I need to make a documentation for Swagger. Since here is a lot of fields that is necessary and necessary, I am just putting that everything in ChatGPT saying like, hey, here is my current DTO, uh, please make that documentation for me, right? I paste it here and we're just feeding the GPT with my current DTO, asking without any changes, without breaking the code, just give me really great documentation for Swagger. As you can see, it gives me like this and let's see what will be in the output. And boom, just in matter of couple minutes, I have fully documented code with response and the request body, right? Here we go. I really like how GPT makes my life easier and hopefully in a couple of weeks I will finish my backend but I'll keep you guys updated, don't worry. Damn, I'm running late to mosque because it's a prayer time and I forgot about it. So I'll see you guys after praying. All right guys, so I'm already home. So as I promised, I'm gonna explain what am I trying to build and why I need it. All right, let's go. So what am I trying to build? is basically there's two, two types of customers existing and new those types of customers always expensive because you have to spend another money another your like marketing team to bring those customers but those customers are the one which is loyal to your business so my idea is to increase the loyalty of existing customers how am i gonna do it so i'm trying to build loyalty card which will bring the IT solution that helps those businesses to give more benefits, more rewards to existing customers. So any business can create their own card. If you guys remember, there was a, like a physical card where each coffee shop or each shop that puts stamps and each seventh coffee, it is free, right? So my main goal is to make it as generic as possible so every business can implement it. And my another goal is to just digitalize it. So user or customers do not hold all like physical cards by themselves so basically it will be something like this so whenever all of those purchases are made the seventh one is free right or whatever rules business want to implement this will help me to build out loyal customers to my business which i am trying to do so yeah if you guys interested in series of vlogs where I try to start my own small business like a traditional business right write in the comments that if you're interested I'll put more vlogs of how am I doing that or if you're not interested or you're interested more in like IT stuff just also let me know in the comments I'll try to put more like a coding stuff by the way I know uh, that those kind of services with a loyalty card exists but I am trying to build almost like a for the cis countries like kazakhstan russia and like um uh, the all nearest countries uh like which is which is needs that kind of product uh, because in our countries the like a loyalty thing to the customer is not like widespread so for example in usa or in europe like all people are very nice to their customers and so on. But in our country, we have to like teach our businesses how to behave, how to build a relationship with their customers, right? So for those reasons, I'm trying to build that out and yeah, help out to myself, first of all. All right, guys, enough coding for today. Uh, what I have uh, done today, uh, filled up all documentation for Swagger uh, to not mess up 
in future, right? Whenever I do a uh, front end. And then I filled up properties in the DTO of creating um, loyalty card, updating it, and then um, learned new uh, syntax for TypeScript. I think it's, re it's really good progress for Sunday. And tomorrow after my main full-time job, I'm gonna continue to do that. Yeah, let's go to gym and have fun because I, I visited gym last time like what two months ago and I never have willing to go to gym since then but right now I feel like I want to go because I want to swim a little bit do some uh, spa things right so let's go